All right, so we're going to work on the keys and cleaning this up and get some stuck keys working again. So um, <clears throat> I already took off a lot of the keys because uh, I didn't want to bore you with um, getting all these keys off. What I did want to show you is when you get a kit from wherever you want to buy a uh, keyboard kit, you're going to get a bunch of tools like this. Now, this is a Logitech, um, let me see this better. This is a Logitech G910. Uh, uh, so, <clears throat> and it has mechanical keys. So, the, uh, you'll have many keyboards like this. It should apply to most, except for maybe the button size and the number of buttons, etc. So, you get this kit with all the different tools for removing the keys. You got this thing for grabbing the keys, um, the uh, uh, tweezers, a couple of brushes for lubricating, and these are for taking out um, these parts if you need to. But for this particular keyboard, uh, this tool seemed to be the easiest. So you'll start by just cleaning it with air. Um, and then start taking the keys off. And now I'm going to zoom in and show you some of the keys and how that's done. Let me zoom in here. Okay. So I got a range of keys here for you. Um, some smaller ones, some bigger ones, so you can see how to handle those. Uh, so we'll start with the G key. Oh, you'll also notice all the dust here, um, and you'll see some more. Because when you blow it off, you don't get it all. Essentially what happens is it starts to creep on, you, you blow this way, and it, all the dust goes under these keys. You blow this way, all the dust goes under those, etc., etc. So even though you feel like it's clean, it really isn't. So the first thing I'll do is, and hopefully I won't get my head in your way, is you try to do it this way where these pins go on either side, but I don't know if you can see that. Let me get my hand out of the way and zoom in some more. This tool doesn't quite fit. I keep seeing it slide off like that. It should be a little wider. However, it's just as easy to let it go over the corners like that. And then you just, it doesn't take much pull. And you just pull it off. So we'll do these others so that you can see that. Let's see if I can get you on a little angle here. Do that again. So put it on there straight. And then just turn it a little bit so it goes corner to corner. And then go to this one. And then this one. Okay, so I'm going to show you then a couple of bigger keys. They're not, they're just as easy because this thing should uh, stretch out to where it goes over the keys, no problem. Like that, same thing. And then you turn it, get it to go corner to corner, and give it a pull. Now you'll see this has two uh, spring-loaded uh, clamps right there, so it's a little different, but not anything significant. So again, straight, corner to corner, Pull it out, and we'll do this last one. <laughs> we'll do this last one. There we go. Okay, so now, as you can see, we'll go a little wider. See all the dust that was, you know, that was still under these keys from blowing it one direction or the other, especially some of these wider keys that have more space underneath them to store the dust. So, um, now one last thing is a space bar, because 
and look at that there for you because obviously um, you're not going to be able to stretch this the whole way. So it is actually pretty easy. I just take a small screwdriver. You can actually use some of these tools and um, go on either side, but this is just the easiest way, I think. And then you go to one side, get underneath the lip, and just pop it up. And then do the other side the same way. The same way. There we go. And then just get it to pick up. I want to keep it straight. And it seems like this side already clipped back in. There we go. And you see it's the same thing except the, the clamps are much wider apart. But same deal. So at this point we're going to get the, the rest of this out of here. Um, <clears throat> I have compressed air. It, a lot of people say use the canned air um, because there's water in compressed air. First of all, I keep, I keep mine clean with a water filter, but uh, there isn't that much unless you left like a gallon of it in your tank. Um, so just get it. the dust and some of my keys over there. And then I'll probably here take a Q-tip and just try and get some of the, you know, the ugliness out of there from a couple of years of, you know, eating over it and whatever. So let me do that. So I have my Q-tip. Um, I just put a little bit of cleaning solution on here, but it's real mild. You can just use water. Clean that stuff up and this stuff, etc. etc. Alright, so with the kit they give you a generous amount of lube. Um, it, this is all up to you, but I, I say uh, you don't need to kill yourself as far as, uh, you know, putting 10 pounds of it on each key. But they also give you the brush. So what I do suggest is making sure, if you've ever watched Bob Ross, is uh, <clears throat> to get a good liberal amount on the brush, but then stop at that point and don't double dip. So we're going to zoom in and I'll put you on an angle so that you can see this from a little bit from a side view. Where am I? There we are. And just let it happen. No. Um, so you take it and you just gently go along the side and you'll see it does goop up a little bit, but you can pick that up again, and then you go along each side. Keep pulling that around. So you get into each edge. And then try to make, see if you can get this light, fine brush in this little space between the two. You can do that by just using the tip. This does take a little while if you're going to do all the keys, but in my case, and in your case too, you might have some <coughs> suspect keys. Um, ones that you've noticed that are uh, double typing. So what I would suggest actually is to start with those, put their keycaps back on, and then um, and then plug it in and try it and see if the repetition uh, goes away. If it doesn't, then you need to look at cleaning these. Some people use a little bit of alcohol in there. I think that's probably a good idea because alcohol evaporates pretty quickly. Just let me show you how a key goes back on here. It's, if you see underneath, there's just... Um, okay, there's four little clips that go into the four clips as well and obviously you'll see how the orientation is and then just lay that in there 
<laughs> Get them lined up. It doesn't even click. It just kind of gets there in place, and now it's in. So, um, ooh, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, same thing with some of the bigger keys. Uh, put the space bar back on. Just make sure you get these aligned with this and these aligned with that. <laughs> oh, might need to do that again. Uh, same with the bigger keys, like the space key here. You just get these aligned with this and this. And then the same four posts are in the center to align with the button itself or the switch. There you go.